this tutorial is autocomplete combo box in session with ask will using link you start visual studio click on file new project select visual c sharp in this form application browse the directory select desktop and open the folder my tutorial select yes and name the application application name is autocomplete combo box okay the application is created reset the page now go to the toolbox and uh, just drag a level control this level control will be uh, used as title so title is autocomplete combo box change the font size font size is 18 bold true font bold true and for color is button paste change the back color of this button yes now it's looking so nice now add a combo box I'll load item in combo box so level text is select item and change the size of this combo box font size is 14 okay go to the form load event yes now I'm gonna add link you the dbml file to connect to the SQL server database so add new item click on data click on link you to SQL classes okay the link you to SQL classes is created with the data class one so now in the server explorer add SQL server connection the server name authentication SQL server authentication is the name SA password SQL server authentication password say password and select the database database is ITDB okay it's added now drag the item name tab from the server explorer okay item name is added in the link to the dbml file let's check the data in the item name tab yes this is the data item name i load the item name to combo box in that case first of all i have to connect uh, cs file application to database using link you so data class one data context db equal to new data class one data context okay now write code bar st equal to from s in db dot item name tab select as dot item name okay now declare a array string a equal to st dot to array now this dot combo box one my combo box name is combo box one combo box one dot autocomplete source dot add range a okay now this dot combo box one dot autocomplete mode equal to autocomplete mode dot suggest fnt okay it will suggest it and add it in the combo box then this dot combo box one dot autocomplete source equal to autocomplete source dot custom source okay it's done now let's uh, debug this page yes d link it's suggesting and appending and all the item loaded in the combo box one put r ram router okay now add a button control to get the value get the text from combo box let's check go to the button click event message box dot show combo box one dot text okay then get yes it's displaying in the message box now i'm gonna adding higher close higher s dot item type equal to let's check the item type item type is network hardware okay 
so if i put item type network it will display all the item where item type is all the item in the combo box where item type is network let's debug okay put see it displaying the items where item type is network are only router not ram okay thanks for watching this tutorial